Take a bottle and expose it to the elements. It's going to start condensating quite rapidly. Especially in a high heat index. We are not much different. The problem is, is that the sweat doesn't evaporate as well. On Tuesday, North Texas may see a heat index of 114. On Monday, it was 116. 116 is really bad. You don't want to be doing a lot of things outdoors. We all know about heat and humidity, but what is heat index? Aside from what the temperature feels like to the body. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty long equation. The index is measured in the shade, not in the radiant heat or the sun, where it can be even hotter. Sounds good. Juan Hernandez is a meteorologist at the National Weather Service. For the Dallas-Fort Worth area, right around the triple digit mark. In simple terms, temperature plus humidity equals that index. When you combine both together, that's what leads our body to feel hotter. Dr. Craig Crandall specializes in thermal physiology at UT Southwestern. He can tell how a high index affects our bodies. The more water in the air, the less effective that sweat evaporates. And you need to have that sweat to evaporate to cool you down. The concern becomes dehydration, heat cramps, heat exhaustion, stroke, which can lead to death. We haven't seen it like this since June, July of 1980 was the last time we had heat index values are around 116. Sweating is our body's way of cooling down, but if that sweat doesn't evaporate, we're a lot like this bottle, exposed to the elements. In DFW, I'm Jobin Puniker.